And so I'm just uh, like uh, uh, Leyland just interested that a program like this doesn't already exist. All right, uh, this entity called the U.S. Commission on Combating Synthetic Opioid Trafficking, which is made up of numerous federal agencies and departments, has a report out, and one thing it says that seems to be true is that two-thirds of drug overdose deaths in the United States, fentanyl. Yeah, no yeah. surprise. The other part of the report that is more speculative is they say these drug overdose deaths cost the U.S. economy a trillion dollars a year. Yeah. Now, coming up with these figures, uh, lost opportunity, lost work, production not having uh, been made because the worker would have produced that product, and so uh, it's almost impossible. But it sounds good because if you look at what it costs for anything, uh, how much does bad air cost us? Uh, how much uh, does traffic, all that? Uh, there would be no economy. The United States would be at a negative. Yeah, so I mean, most of this trillion is yeah. lost productivity. Oh, here's another fentanyl. Yeah, speaking of fentanyl, so this uh, dentist is in some trouble, big trouble in Illinois, facing some federal charges, uh, that he w would take vials of fentanyl and then take out half of it and fill the other half with something else. So basically he was pocketing some of the anesthesia that he was supposed to give to his patients, um, and then keeping the rest for himself. Yeah, those poor patients, because they're looking at, um, there's some stories of nurses doing this, where they give half doses of pain medication. You have the patients screaming in pain, and uh, the attending physician won't give any more. You've already gotten the most we can give, and it's half. What, I wonder what he put in the, uh, allegedly, what he filled the vial with to make it look like a full daily. Oh, daily. Oh, daily. daily. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know these things. I'm just asking. I know these yeah. things because <laughs> right. I know these things. Because I've read enough of those stories. Uh, I think we have time for one more. Well, it's an woman, interesting act. Uh, a woman says she was uh, kicked off an American oh. Airlines flight because she has a nut allergy. And they said, oh, you can't fly on the plane then because we are contractually required to hand out warm nut mix in first class and business class. And where's the There's, contract? You cannot, that's what she was told. They took her over to British Airways, who rebooked her and said, no problem. Right. And British Airways, they said, sorry, everybody on the flight. We're not going to be serving nuts today. We have somebody with an allergy. They went around and told everybody individually about it, too. So it's a contrast in how two different airlines right. treated the same issue. And this contract issue is obviously manufactured uh, because, you know, God forbid you run out of peanuts. Oh, my God, we have to refund all the money. And... The issue is, and I've been on planes where they've done that before, uh, Southwest Airlines a few times. It's life-threatening. I mean, there are allergies that are airborne where even the scent of peanuts uh, is crazy. I have a friend of mine who is a, uh, allergic to raspberries. And if there's raspberry in the cake, even if it's the very end, he just takes a bite of the part that doesn't have raspberries, anaphylactic shock, done immediately. Uh, the war with Russia. Well, there's a real war, and I'll explain. This is KFI AM 640 Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. I'm alone this Valentine's Day. Maybe your Valentine's. No, not in a creepy way. You don't want sex or your endo. But no eye contact. And also, you'll need to take a shower first. KFI. KOST 82. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. I'm Layla Muhammad, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. The L.A. County Board of Supervisors has voted to move ahead with the termination of sheriff's deputies who refused to get vaccinated. The board voted to have the county's director of personnel to come up with a way to take over the disciplinary action and termination of sheriff's department employees. The director was told to come back with a plan on March 15th when the soups will do a review and final vote. The vote yesterday was unanimous with Supervisor Barger abstaining. Barger said such a broad action against one man, the sheriff, is inappropriate. It puts the county in danger if thousands of deputies are fired. Sheriff Villanueva says the mandate has the potential of getting rid of 4,000 employees in his department. See Gregory K. If I knew. Orange County will follow Governor Newsom's recommendation and end indoor mask mandates next week. L.A. County is taking a more cautious approach. Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer says the county will ease mask mandates when new COVID-19 cases fall below 750 a day for two weeks in a row. If current trends continue, that could happen by the middle of March.
Nearly $1.4 billion has been paid by UCLA and USC to thousands of women who claim sexual abuse by two campus gynecologists. USC paid just over a billion since 2018 to settle George Kendall lawsuit. UCLA paid 73 million last year and yesterday agreed to pay 243 million over Jane T. Kara Cagle says she's waited eight years. Although there is some consolation in that, my heart breaks for all the women who are not spared. All the women who suffered asked me because UCLA was too fast. Lawyers say both schools ignored decades of complaints and concealed the abuse. He says Kendall have pleaded not guilty to dozens of felonies. Both USC and UCLA say they put in reforms to prevent future abuse. In L.A., Corbin Carson, KFI News. A cousin of the man who was shot and killed by police in Minneapolis during a raid has been arrested for a murder in St. Paul. Makai Speed lived in the same building where Amir Locke was killed last week. Locke was in an apartment with Speed's brother and the brother's girlfriend. Police say Locke was not named in any warrant. His cousin is accused of killing a man last month during a robbery or attempted robbery. Kentucky Republican Senator Mitch McConnell has taken aim at the RNC resolution that declared the January 6th riot at the Capitol was legitimate political discourse. It was a violent insurrection for the purpose of trying to prevent the peaceful transfer of power after a legitimately certified election. McConnell says the resolution and censure of two House Republicans has widened divisions within the party. President Biden is going to meet soon with French President Emmanuel Macron, who met recently with the Russian President Putin about Ukraine. Macron says Putin told him Moscow would not further escalate the crisis. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki repeated Biden's declaration that the Nord Stream 2 pipeline would not continue if Russia invades Ukraine. Nord Stream 2 is not currently operational. Uh, we agree that it is a point of leverage uh, with President Putin and the Russians. Russia has sent troops to the border, but insists it has no plans to attack. <laughs> Cabellas has captured the U.S.'s first gold medal of the Beijing Olympics with a victory in the snowboard, snowboard cross competition. This is the fifth Olympic for the 36-year-old. She has become the oldest U.S. woman to win an Olympic medal. We're checking out traffic with DKFI in the sky on the 57 next. Brought to you by Life Source Water. Taste and feel the difference. Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bauer will not face criminal charges in connection with sexual assault allegations. KFI Steve Gregory obtained this exclusive statement on the matter from LA County DA George Gascon. We looked at this case very, very closely. Uh, we looked at the denial of a civil restraining order. You know, we came to the conclusion that we would never be able to meet our, our standard of proof, which is beyond a reasonable doubt. In basketball, the Lakers lost to the Bucks, 131 to 116. They're at the Portland Trailblazers today at seven, and the Clippers fell to the Memphis Grizzlies, 135 to 109. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. Dealing with Medicare, navigating it is a pretty complicated stuff, and it doesn't matter whether you're applying for it or about to, or you're already on a plan. Uh, you should know what's going on, and this is where AGA Medicare Options comes in. They're suggesting, matter of fact, they're offering a system whereby you get to know all of the rules before you make any decisions. And those decisions happen every year. So, AGA Medicare Options is offering a free dinner and educational Medicare seminar. No enrollment fees, no sales. You leave your checkbook at home, but bring your appetite. And they're experienced agents, and you have to have experience in this will advise you step-by-step step on a plan that fits your unique situation, your budget. Plans that are accepted by your physicians, cover your medications at the lowest out-of-pocket cost. So call for that free dinner and seminar. That's the important part. Now pound 250 on the cell and say the keyword, My Medicare. Pound 250 on the cell, say My Medicare. Visit agamedicareoptions.com. weather from KFI, sunny and warm and windy with highs in the low 80s along the coast, mid 80s for inland areas. Right now it's 60 in Anaheim, 52 in Long Beach. The KFI financial report brought to you by Sweet James Accident Attorneys. The Dow is up 282 points, S&P up 50, NASDAQ up 184. The average price for a gallon of regular gasoline in California is still sitting at $4.68.
Let's check out traffic on the 57 with the KFI in the sky. You can bet you this is going to be a good news, but it's going to take a while for you to feel it. Uh, South 57 past the 60 now on the uphill side of our Pathfinder. We were orbiting this for a while. The two left lanes were blocked. That's why you're still backed up. That jam of the uh, South 57 160 merge in the split. It's just jammed up south. Stay with the freeway with all lanes open now. It's better than Diamond Bar Boulevard. That got used up very, very quickly. Now, it's a beautiful downtown Burbank, if you will. South by a little slope from uh, Hollywood, way down to about Burbank Boulevard. But after that, things will improve people as you go down to the 134. And the drive to LASL, or one of the drives, I should say, from Long Beach all the way up to the airport, that northbound side getting slow, and around the 110, up to about Crenshaw. After that, you're going to be okay. Jeff Barr, KFI in the sky. Great in home care starts with a great match. Comfort Care can help you find the right fit for a parent or loved one. From companionship to personal care, Comfort Care offers different levels of assistance. Our franchisees thoughtfully match clients and caregivers for the best fit possible. A great match gives families peace of mind knowing their loved one is getting professional care and a friendly smile. Find your caregiver match at ComfortCare.com. Each office is independently owned and operated. Why Solar Max technology? Uh, simple. I mean, did the research, figured out Solar Max was the best. I like the fact they're local, they know their stuff, great prices, including that special they're extending through February. That's right. Call Solar Max now. Get the sleek new Tesla 420 watt panel package for zero down, only $79.96 a month. Yeah, and no supply chain weight with just a 1.99% APR. Get the best. Call Solar Max. Dial pound 250 from your cell and say keyword Solar Max or go to solarmaxtech.com. Monthly payment available on our proof credit. The SLB number 972. For you. Termite problems? Search PacificCoastTermite.com or call 800 Pacific. K-F-I. More stimulating talk. Uh, February 9th, uh, coming up on Sunday, of course, the Super Bowl, and it is going to be warm, 80 degrees. It is going to be outside, and guess what? I was listening to Tim Conway last night, and I say this every year also, uh, 80 degrees outside in Southern California, and people in Buffalo, New York, watching the Super Bowl, Bowl and it's 46 degrees uh, below zero. Okay, we're moving, and we get a lot of that. Rose Parade, a lot of that. Uh, Rose Bowl game, a lot of that. We're at war with Russia. I mean, not at war, war. I mean, the, even if an incursion does happen, if Russia invades uh, Ukraine, uh, it, you're not going to see the world just jump at it and defend Ukraine and fight Russia. I don't think it's going to be a proxy war. Uh, but we have been at war. The Western uh, allies, the European Union and uh, Canada, U.S., etc., have really been at, at war with Russia, and we have been in it for a very, very long time, and we've been in it for decades and decades, all through the collapse of the Soviet Union, and it really has to do with uh, this and misinformation, and particularly during uh, the era of the Internet, it has exploded, because, well, look at the kind of misinformation we get on everything. The conspiracy theorists, uh, the people who believe in aliens coming down and having sex with Elvis, and uh, here is the love child. I mean, just crazy stuff. Used to be in the National Enquirer, and that was just for fun. Now it is almost mainstream Internet. So uh, Russia has taken huge advantage of this and uses uh, the Internet uses its methods of infiltrating, uh, hacking, uh, on a state level. Now, does the United States do that against Russia and China? Yeah, we do, but not as close, not nearly to the level. Uh, this is a tool that is particularly used by communist governments, or so-called communist governments now. Uh, and uh, we have been the victim of it, not only on uh, a business level. Remember, uh, Sony was hacked uh, and emails went flying all over the place. I think the Chinese government was involved in that. But the, the level of sophistication is crazy. And here's what's going on on our side, because how do you fight fire with fire? Not really, because you, are, let, you, you become the defendant. You're throwing up your arms. You're dodging the bullets. You can't be the aggressor. 
it's not a fair fight. Russia comes out with all this disinformation, infiltrates our internet, uh, puts up all uh, this crazy conspiracy stuff, did it a lot, uh, trying to get um, uh, 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 trying to get an election overturned or trying to push a candidate or an issue. I mean, they've done that historically. Uh, so instead of dodging bullets, here's what the United States is doing, and they very rarely ever do this in this case. We've been hearing about 100,000 troops, and we've been hearing about the... Uh, the different materiel, uh, the tanks, uh, all of the equipment moving into the border. And we've been seeing a lot of uh, national security photos. The U.S. government has spy satellites all over the world, and those photos of those tanks and those troops are being released internationally. That's how we're fighting back. And when you look at the history of this kind of intelligence, which is highly secret intelligence, being disseminated publicly, it happens so rarely. And the big one was 1962, uh, the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis, where President Kennedy at that time accused Russia of moving in ballistic uh, missiles into Cuba. Uh, nuclear missiles into Cuba, and of course Russia completely denied it, and what the president did is simply hear the photos and release the photos to the whole world, which never happens. Well, it's happening now. Photos, top secret photos are being released and to prove what Russia is doing. And Russia is claiming, oh no, no, we have no plans to invade Ukraine. Uh, we're a peaceful nation. We're simply talking about a defensive move. Yeah, all of those troops along the border uh, and thinking or trying to convince the rest of us, the rest of the world, that they're simply doing it as defense for fear of Ukraine marching into Russia, even though Russia has uh, made a claim that Ukraine, that part of Ukraine is theirs, like the Crimea. Same thing, they out and out annex the Crimea. Hey, that's ours. And what did the world do about that? Nothing. And that is the problem. This is uh, a world where the military of various countries is very, very little. They just let it happen. There's a whole history of that, going back to World War II, Germany annexed Austria, uh, when the, uh, uh, after Versailles, uh, the uh, Hitler took over uh, Czechoslovakia. It was given to him because everybody was afraid of the conflict that might include. And the same thing is happening now. Is it going to be a real war? Probably not. Is it going to be a war of disinformation, misinformation, even to the point of releasing top secret photos and intelligence? Yeah, yeah. That is now part of the our, our arsenal and their arsenal so it's a whole new way of doing it i guess the good news is people won't be dying the bad news is who's ever the best at this gets the upper hand hey uh inglewood uh is going to be the site of the super bowl sofi stadium uh, if you go to the super bowl this weekend and you're in inglewood uh and you come back three years from now uh it's not the same town it's not even the same area and i'll explain that but first, I want to jump in with uh, Layla Muhammad. Well, the L.A. County D.A. said yesterday that the county will not file, uh, the district attorney's office will not file sex assault charges against Trevor Bauer due to a lack of evidence. Bauer still faces possible discipline from Major League Baseball. Some Democratic senators are calling for suspending the federal gas tax for the remainder of the year to help consumers who are struggling with rising fuel prices. The bill announced today still faces an uphill fight to become law. And Johnson & Johnson has stopped making its COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, the company has temporarily ceased production at its plant in the Netherlands. From the HMS Capital Weather Center, it's going to be sunny and warm today with highs in the 80s inland and along the coast. This report brought to you by Rocket Mortgage.
From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, let's go places. We're headed to the 405. Oh boy, you betcha. Uh, okay, if you're around Seal Beach or Long Beach right now, the drive all the way up to the airport is kind of on the busy side. The good news here, there's no horrible events working right now. All lanes are open. The carpool lane is, is uh, looking a lot better, that's for sure, especially coming up from the 110. Now, Inglewood, it is just buzzing down there. I can't tell you how much activity we saw, especially around SoFi Stadium. So we'll have more on the closures that'll come up around this weekend. So uh, don't go away. We'll keep you filled in. Jeff Ball, KFI in the sky. The Rocket Mortgage Super Bowl Square Sweepstakes is giving out millions in prize money. And best of all, it's free to enter. It's the largest game of Super Bowl Squares ever from America's largest mortgage lender. Enter for free at rocketmortgagesquares.com. This report is sponsored by Grocery Outlet. This week at your local grocery outlet, get ready for the big game with wonderful pistachios. Two-pound bags are just $9.99. Also, stock up on Frito-Lay party-sized chips. Assorted varieties are buy two, get one free. Take a look at your legs. Are those veins twisty, bulgy, painful, and uh, embarrassing? West Medical offers the latest minimally invasive solutions to erase varicose veins fast. You know, varicose veins are caused by broken valves, and they don't heal on their own, so don't wait. Call 1-800-WESTMED for a private consultation. Treatments are covered by most PPO insurances, and they offer great financing. Call 1-800-WESTMED or visit westmedical.com today. I can turn my passion into a career. I can get hands-on training for my dream job. I can be ready for the in-demand careers of today and tomorrow. Learn by collaborating and exploring when you enroll at a California community college. With more than 200 career education programs at your fingertips, your future can be anything you imagine. I can make good money doing what I love. Classes can fill up quickly, so enroll today at ICanGoToCollege.com. Joining us today, Scott Painter, CEO and co-founder of Autonomy. It's a new company. It's right here in L.A. that offers car subscriptions. And, Scott, why is subscription a thing that is going to be the next way for people to get into sure. this market? The whole idea behind a subscription was being able to simplify the transaction and make it easier for the customer. You don't have to go into all of the offline paperwork, sign things in triplicate. Everything is happening on your phone. You're in control of the entire transaction. You can sign up and get the thing in 10 minutes. And all you need to be able to get a subscription is a valid driver's license and a digital form of payment. So you can put this entire thing on your credit card. You don't have to go out and apply for debt and get approved and weighed and measured and all of that. Buying a car also seems so cumbersome when you think about all that goes into it. This seems to be a super easy way to get you into this Tesla Model 3. What you're saying is that buying a car is a high friction experience for most people. This is the only way to truly get a car in a truly digital way. Well, thank you on behalf of all people like me who want a Tesla but want to do it cheap and easy. <laughs> I'm excited about it. Want to pay off your 30-year mortgage in half the time? Network Capital is offering a low 15-year fixed rate at 2.25% with a 2.425 APR. Start off your new year with a lower rate and half the payments. If you're looking to lower your interest rate, pay your home off sooner, or pull out some cash, don't miss this opportunity. You'll never have to worry about refinancing again with rates this low. Our 15-year fixed rate is 2.25% with a 2.425 APR. It's not often to get such an amazing second chance to refinance and forget it. That's a 15-year fixed at 2.25%. Yes, 2.25% with a 2.425 APR. Network Capital has experts standing by right now to help. Call 800-500-NUMBER-1-HIT. 800 501 -800 HIT as in home run. Call now and save big on your refund. 800 500 one hit 800 500 1448. Stop with your silly theories. You're all wrong anyway. We tried it your way. We've let all these prisoners out. And the crime rate is crazy. All kinds of insane things are happening. There's bloodshed everywhere. So you guys are wrong. You put them away, they can't hurt anybody. John and Ken, I don't want to argue with you. You're wrong. We did it too. Clearly. On KMI. KMI, KM640, Bill Handel. On the ninth day of February, it is a Wednesday. Uh, some of uh, the bigger stories that we are covering. L.A. prosecutors have decided not to charge Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bauer for allegedly beating and sexually uh, abusing a woman uh, that he met through social media. And I believe uh, she accused him of doing it 
twice, which I kind of wonder, once I can see it, all right, I got caught up in it. Second time, I don't know. Uh, now, uh, with the uh, Super Bowl 56 uh, coming uh, this Sunday to SoFi in Inglewood, uh, we've talked about and read stories about how, as a matter of fact, uh, I think it was last week I talked about how uh, SoFi came to be built in Inglewood and the various movers and shakers that were vying for uh, a stadium space in a city to uh, put the stadium in. Uh, Inglewood guys, and here comes uh, this spectacular stadium, uh, $5 billion, actually the crown jewel of the NFL. But uh, what will happen is uh, visitors are going to come by and they're figuring 100,000 people are going to be somewhat connected to the 100,000 people visiting will be connected to the Super Bowl. And also, uh, when they take long shots, uh, uh, the Goodyear blimp flying overhead with long shots of the city, what you'll see is a bunch of construction cranes and scaffolds and half-finished business uh, buildings because Inglewood is in the middle of completely reinventing itself. It went from an area that was kind of, eh, I mean, you know, if people said, I'm moving to Inglewood a few years ago, you'd say, why would you do that? And it was not considered a terrific neighborhood. Well, boy, guess again, it is going to be a terrific neighborhood. And it's, uh, the center is going to be this $5 billion stadium. I mean, it is a spectacular. The only one I can think of that approaches it, it, the looks and the cost is Allegiant Stadium in uh, Las Vegas. Boy, that's a hell of a stadium, too. I mean, can you imagine stadiums now costing three, four, five billion dollars? I remember when the first billion dollar stadium broke ground. And we, oh, my God, it can't cost that much. That's crazy. Well, uh, or when teams actually sold for $200 million or $400 million. And now you're getting or not, you're getting uh, the sales prices in the billions, low billions of dollars for a professional team. So what is going on? Well, uh, you're not going to see the city ready for the Super Bowl the way it wants to be. Now, uh, by 2023, uh, you've got the college uh, football national championship game at SoFi, and it will be in that city. And... I'll, you'll see a very different Inglewood. By then, Hollywood Park. Uh, these are the three, around 300 acres encompassing the stadium. It took the old uh, park, and that's going to have 314 new residents, high-end residency, a 300-room hotel, 320 square feet of retail space, and that just begins the process. Last June, uh, developers touted a city within a city. That's what we're going to have here. And we're halfway there. By 2025, Hollywood Park will have another 2,000 residents. Uh, almost a million square feet of retail space, a six-acre artificial lake, and 25 acres of public parks and plazas. Uh, Inglewood is going to be transformed into one of those modern, uh, or so they say, most modern, successful cities that exist in the United States. Now, if you go south of Hollywood Park, work is already underway on an 18,000-seat, the Intuit Dome, which is the future home of the L.A. Clippers. So not only are teams moving, and not only are teams moving into new quarters, the investments are just astronomical, and I guess that's what it takes. All right, so uh, right now you've got I don't count how many hotels, new hotels are new in near the stadium. One. One is near the same uh, stadium. And uh, hosts, so where do people stay? Well, they go to Airbnb. And if you look at the Airbnb rental prices, some of them are getting thousands of dollars per night. Where normally they wouldn't get anywhere near that. Now, a nice Airbnb, you can pay some money, five hundred, eight hundred dollars per night. That's like a five-bedroom house, and uh, you know you put ten people in it. And that's beautiful kitchen and living space, etc. Well, those are probably going for five times as much. The average rate in LA County is going to reach four hundred and forty-five dollars uh, per night, the second highest level of any Super Bowl weekend ever on record. So it affects people within miles. Yesterday we talked about parking at the Super Bowl. 
and the prices of parking are in the hundreds of dollars. And I'm talking about two miles away, where people have to hike two miles uh, into the stadium. And you're paying hundreds of dollars. And they had a shuttle, theoretically they have a shuttle, but uh, that, that, whole, that whole process broke down uh, during the Rams championship game. You couldn't get in. And so the uh, Olympics are coming in 2028. Uh, SoFi will be the middle of it because always uh, opening ceremonies and closing ceremonies are in the stadium, uh, sometimes newly built. SoFi, like Beijing, with the eggs, uh, the bird nest that was built for the last summer games. Uh, in LA, we're going to have two great stadiums. One, uh, a retro stadium, just a, a glorious thing, the Coliseum that was built in the Great Depression. Uh, the one time sat 100,000 people, now I think it's 70 or 80 to reconfigure it. And we have SoFi. So we're already there. We have an amazing uh, aquatics venue and the velodrome in the valley for the bike racing i mean we're there and inglewood is going beyond there uh there's a 300 room boutique hotel and resort is going to open by the end of 2022 and that's within the boundaries of hollywood park uh two blocks from there uh, there's a 120 room hilton Troll hotel which well that's been delayed uh, a couple of three years but you go farther out from there, uh, there's a hotel right next to uh, the future basketball arena that they're building. And so you have all of those public venues, and with public venues, people like to live near public venues, I'm talking about sporting venues, so uh, residential projects are popping up. Uh, some of them very high-end, high-rises.